Greetings all! Today, we'll be examining the exceptionally rare ice type Pokemon Ice Q, the Penguin Pokemon. Though their initial appearances might be more than a bit odd to some, Ice Q are nonetheless unique creatures whose curious physical attributes more than make them worth noticing. These creatures have a body form that is rather typical for their type of bird, with black feathers coating their wings in the back of their body and white feathers covering their belly with yellow webbed feet and blue accents near the sides of their belly. What really makes them stand out is the massive block of ice that covers their heads while in their ice face form, with only a single black hair sticking out of the top and a penguin-like face with eyes and beak on the front. If this ice is shattered, it forces them into their noise face form, where their blue ovoid head with white eyes and beak is exposed. Ice Q are strange penguins that originally drifted into the Gala region on cold ocean currents from the Arctic Ocean area and have developed in relative isolation from other birds, which has granted them a form that is distinctly unique even among other penguins. The heads of these creatures are almost completely featherless, exposing their bright blue skin, save for a single long hair that sprouts from the top of their head. This single, extremely durable hair actually acts as a piece of sensory equipment for these creatures, as the roots of the hair are actually tied directly to the surface of their brains through their skull, and it acts as a transmitter of sorts. Whenever these creatures have a thought, or are otherwise thinking about something, it will trigger this hair into initiating an endothermic reaction internally that causes the hair to start chilling the air around the creatures, in turn serving as the basis for many of their ice-type attacks. In addition to this, these creatures can also use the hair as a lure in the water, fishing with it in order to catch prey and freeze them solid for either immediate or later consumption. This works well, as while the hair is anchored to their brain, it is also anchored to their skull and scalp as well, and is quite elastic and firm, so it can take a tremendous amount of force to even begin to pull it out. However, it is recommended that this not be tried anyways, for if the hair is pulled out, it can cause nerve damage to them and leave these creatures unable to use some of their best ice type attacks, thus making it imperative to keep the hair safe in battle. When it comes to defense though, it must be said that Ice Q have a very interesting way of defending themselves against attack and keeping themselves cool, freezing their heads. These creatures cannot stand warm temperatures on their heat sensitive skin, so in order to keep themselves cool at all times and protect them against direct attack, they will actively freeze their heads in a solid block of ice with some transparent sections where they can see and breathe through, giving the front of this cube a face-like appearance. This acts as part of the signature ability, Ice Face, and while it cannot do anything to protect them against special attacks, if they are struck with a physical blow while in their Ice Face form, the ice will take the brunt of the blow and shatter, otherwise leaving Ice Skew completely unharmed by the strike. However, this will cause them to enter their Noise Face form, and this will cause their base defense and special defense stats to critically decrease, though in return, their base speed stat will unfathomably increase without the heavy block of ice on them, enabling them to launch powerful counterattacks at deceptive speeds. While they tend to become very worried for their safety in this state, many people find the look of their strange, featherless head quite enamoring, and they've become somewhat popular in the native regions as a result. This might not do them much good in protecting against further attacks, but at the very least, if it starts to seriously snow or hail when these creatures are in this exposed state, they can use their hair and the ice in the air to regenerate their shield at least once every time a storm is brought in, so they are not always completely defenseless and can make great additions to teams that enjoy using such icy weather to their advantage. Not surprisingly, this is reflected in their base stats as well, as well they are generally rather weak and don't have much to show in the way of offensive power or stamina, while in their ice face form, these creatures have above average base defense and special defense stats for a fully evolved ice type Pokemon, and while in their noise face form, their base speed is above average on the same terms, so they can play both defensively and quickly depending on what the situation calls for. While I normally don't find a lot of favor with bird Pokemon, for good reason of course, I can't help but laugh at the sight of these strange birds every time I come across one. On the one hand, they look incredibly silly but cute while the heads are frozen in a block of ice. But on the other hand, well, they look even more adorable with their real head revealed. You get entertainment out of either form with little issue. 
and they really don't mind it if their head blocks get shattered so long as it doesn't happen outside of the cold. Give a passing minute or two out of a fight and they'll be ready for action with a fresh block in no time. If anything, these funny creatures deserve all the love and care they can get and are definitely worth taking around for a spin, especially if you can figure out a way to make good use of the unique signature ability to turn the tables on physically offensive foes. Though their awkward attributes might make them more puzzling than useful to some, Ice Q are still unique birds that can certainly bring some serious surprises with them wherever they go. Whether or not you feel inclined to laugh at them in either of their forms, however, it can at least be said that you won't need to worry about having fun when in the frigid lands they call home. Just do yourself a favor and try not to give them a bad beating unless you know they can take it. Smacking them in the head while it's covered in ice is one thing, but give the noggins a direct hit and you might be in for a bad time after they give you a real taste of arctic cold. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always a pleasure to help teach others about the world of Pokemon and the many facets of it that exist in both the world we call home and the world they call home. If you'd like, please leave a comment and subscribe and ring the bell to this channel to get regular updates on content and anything else that might be going on. You can find me and my written work on DeviantArt under the name Utitis and be informed of information and content uploads on my Twitter page and my Patreon page. Donations are always welcome. Always remember, the world of Pokemon is a vast and varied place and there's no telling what secrets might be hiding just around the corner. So keep watch, stay vigilant, and always prepare for the unexpected. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.